crack like and challengers. I'm your host James Worland. Today we will be talking about how to clean your fish tank. And guys, this tank does have fry, so I'll be showing you guys how to clean the tank with fry also. It's a little harder. I have sucked up some fry before, so I'll talk about that later in the video. Guys, I actually did it. I actually caught a fry on accident using my siphon tube. This is one of the new ones. I probably should move it away, but I'll put it back. Look how small it is. It's like, I thought it was a speck. I looked down. So if you ever have fry, make sure you just check it. Um, I'm going to put them back in the tank just by adding all the water back in. Those fry are starting to get more active. They've been getting bigger. It's harder for them to be eaten. See, I was trying to suck out some of that waste. So I've been requested to make this video quite a few times. And the thing is, I, I looked up some videos on how to clean your tanks, and I didn't really find any. I'm going to only be talking about my 20 gallon and maybe my 10 gallon, but I'm not going to discuss my new 3 gallon. So I'll be making a separate video on how to do this with a smaller tank because there's a different process. You actually have to remove the fish and then you have to like get in there more because it is such a small tank. You just need to make sure you don't harm the fish in any way. However, for this tank, I do not remove my fish. That would be so hard, especially with all the fry. I just leave them in there. They usually go to the other side when I'm working. They know, they know what I'm cleaning by now. So what do you need to do this? The thing is, when I was first doing this, I was on a, like, I was on a really low budget. The first thing you need is a bucket. The second thing, which isn't even required, is a hose. A hose of any sort. The thing is, this is like a thicker hose. And I actually got a siphon to replace this, but the thing is, this is what I used when I first started. I put this end into the aquarium and then I sucked out the other end just to get water. But you can't really suck up debris with this thing. So I decided to get this, and this is actually like a gravel back. I got the smallest one. Not only was it cheaper, but it also is pretty awesome because, because this tank, there are so many decorations and it's so detailed and aquascaped. I don't want to mess everything up and it's just easier to get in there. Also something you need is a sponge. I made a video on how to use just a regular dish soap sponge, but I actually got this little magnetic LG scrubber and this thing is pretty awesome because you just put one end in and the other end in. This is like really cheap, you can get it for like a dollar or something. I'll leave some links down below if you guys want to check them out, but I, I, you just go back and forth and it does it for you. So the first thing I like to do I usually put some towels on the floor just so I don't spill and if I do spill, it's just collected. And also guys, I always have like a utility rag or something or just reg a regular towel with me just so I can wipe off my hands right away so I don't get everything all messy. I'm going to set up for that and I'll show you guys it when I'm done. So this is a towel I'm going to be using and I'm getting my bucket set up. And I got to be honest, this siphon helps me so much. I didn't realize how easy it is, especially since it has this little clip to make sure the water doesn't overflow. So now you just don't need to hold it because I have spilled my water before and that is a pain. So the first thing you want to do is try putting it in there just so your fish get away. And then what's really easy about this is you just have to go, you just have to put it in and out of the water until it creates a suction. Now that it's going, you just move it around inside the tank, trying not to move things around. And guys, usually when I do this, I trim my plants, but I'm going to make a separate video on this. So I usually just suck up all this. And make sure you guys look out, since I have a lot of small fry that are going around here, I did actually suck one up one, one time and I actually got that on footage. But you just want to make sure you watch out for all those. And then you also want to keep an eye on your bucket. Oh, that's going to be bad. Just make sure you keep an eye on your bucket just to make sure you don't overflow because that would be horrible. And in my tank, I have a lot of decorations. So a lot of things pool up in certain areas and I know where those are so I usually clean those more than others. And I am sucking up some of the smaller plants and stuff. And I'll pick those out from the bucket. And now it's almost up. So then you just lift your siphon out of the water and then you put it down. And now since the water level has lowered, you're not gonna splash any around. So at this point, I'd probably go in here with a little knife and cut some of the plants off, just trim them and then also manage them. And you guys can see a little floating plant right there that's starting to come up from the ground. So I would also put them under Right now I'm just going to start scrubbing. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a little bit of an opaque line. And that's just some algae and stuff that's starting to grow on the side. So this algae scrubber will work great. The only problem is this is a sand aquarium. So you need to make sure that you don't pick up any sand when you're going. Because that could actually scratch your glass. And I've had to, I've had to make sure that doesn't happen. It, it almost happened before. Um, but that usually happens when you get closer to the ground. I mean, you can take your time with this. But... It's not really going to be that bad. The fish have a lot of other areas that they can go so they don't get too scared. So, yeah, my quarry cats are going crazy. And instead of using this LG scrubber, you can actually use this. Recently, I've noticed I do this more often. I would usually do this like once every two weeks, but now I think I'm doing this every single water change just because the ease and convenience that this does have. So I would definitely recommend this along with the siphon. Siphons help so much. Um, it's, it's just a really easy process. And again, now I would just put my hand in and then collect any plants that are floating and then 
try replanting them, and also trimming them. So now I want to talk about how often I do this. So now you're probably asking how often I do this. The thing is, I do it probably more often than most people. What I usually do is first do this process, I'd empty out the bucket, and then I'd fill it up, and add more water, and then do one more of those changes. And then call it a day. I usually do that two times a week. I know on one day, I usually suck out more than usual. I don't like to drain it to 50%, I just like doing the smaller water changes, just so the water parameters basically stay the same. They don't really get changed around a lot. And right now I'm just going to take out the intake filter and then I'm going to squeeze it out. So what's really nice with this Marina Slim filter, is it actually has an intake sponge, like, built into it. Um, but now when you take it out, it's just sucking up straight up water. So we need to make sure we do this quickly. And then you want to dip it into your bucket, and then scrub it out. And it's important you don't do it with tap water because it could kill some of the beneficial bacteria. Actually, I need to do it again. Looks like one of our clippings actually came up. I'm gonna replant that. All right, guys, and especially now so that I have fry, you usually want to. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just um, can't get into it because they would never understand. So you guys can see the water was actually clear. I could see through it, but now that I squeezed out that intake filter, it is disgusting. I'm just gonna dump this straight into the toilet and fill it up with water. At that point, you want to add your dechlorinators. So I'm gonna go do that right now. So when you're adding your water, you want to add it slowly in, just so it doesn't mess up your substrate. I'm actually gonna move the camera. So I'm actually gonna be resting the bucket on the ledge, and then I put my hand out. And this helps a lot. It prevents like the water from going straight down. Um, this makes it faster as well. Oh yeah, also temperature. You want to try matching the temperature to your aquarium. I'm pretty good at that. There's no real difference. Plus this is such a big tank. Um, and the, the heater is pretty awesome. So it will heat it up. Um, you don't want to get super boiling water when you add water in. Um, you just want to find the right mix. And this process is going to make your tank pretty cloudy. And that's about it. The thing is, there's actually going to be a lot of debris and stuff. And if you have a sanded tank, you'll realize this, that it goes, that it lifts up. And then it'll be landing on your plants and stuff. So what I usually do after about an hour and everything settles down, I'll usually go by the plants and wipe them off by hand. Just so there's no dirt collection on them. Um, there's actually some dirt piling up right now. I'll show you guys that. And this Java moss gets tons of dirt on it. And guys, a lot of people were asking what I'm going to be doing with my guppies. I'm actually thinking about selling them. Um, I think that would be pretty awesome. I actually called the pet store and they're actually considering doing it. So that would be pretty awesome. And now I'm just going to add a little bit of fertilizer just because... for the tank. And that's about it, how to clean your aquarium. This will keep your tank very healthy and looking great. Alright guys, so that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's really awesome. Hopefully I'm going to get some more of those orange bee shrimp. They're pretty awesome, so maybe we'll get some breeding. So the next video will probably be a beta care video or a quarry catfish care video because I do have some awesome quarries in here. Or maybe even a video on guppies breeding. I have a lot of videos, but if you guys have any suggestions, make sure you drop them down below. By the way, this video was suggested by one of you. Actually, a lot of you guys. I'll just show a lot of people right now. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Catch y'all on the flippity flop. Ski y'all later.